But if we look at, so here's what's important if, is that the uh, months of inventory is about 0.3 month inventory. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at the close volume, it's 711 for the Austin area. Now, if we look at <clears throat> the MSA, 0.4 of a month. And if you listen to my video I put out Tuesday, this, this information just came out, by the way. But if you listen to the video I did yesterday, I said we would be 0.3 of a month inventory because guess what? I pay attention to the numbers. And there's something that's very important about these graphics that I think is 100% wrong. I've reached out to the companies that do the marketing graphics for this. And I've reached out to the data company that does the, the data for this out of Texas State, um, which is Texas A&M, I think. So, I mean, it's Texas A&M. <laughs> I mean, Aggies, what are you, what are you doing? But <laughs> here's what's interesting. So uh, if we look at the actual closed data, so they're saying the median closed for January was 550 and new construction. This is what I, I tend to look at. New construction was 610 closed median. Here's what's important. So if we go then look at, oh, and here's December, by the way. Uh, no, that's January. Right, that's January. There's December. So December uh, 555, we had 1,100 closings December, 0.5 month inventory. And this is where I think some of this, we run into issues, a 0.5 month inventory being in December. But here's what's really important to look at. If we look at the December numbers, the median was 555. But if we look at the existing home, 550, which is the exact same as the January numbers. If we look at the new construction numbers, they were 619. So, and then if we look at the new construction numbers over here, they had 134 closed. Well, here's the problem. 74 units closed in new construction. That's like almost half of the amount. So the new construction is skewing, has been skewing the data for the last year. And I've, I've made this point before, the new construction data, uh, because we'll have maybe a big month or we'll have a month where a lot of those low dollar ones closed. When I say low dollar, I just mean like DR Horton does their sale and you, know, you sell a bunch at 400, but then you have a lot of stuff selling six plus. So that'll skew the numbers down. So I think that's part of the reason why we're seeing that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show here is, so remember I said that there was uh, 711 closed. Well, I did basically a CMA of the market. I pulled up 800 closed. <coughs> so that's actually 89 more actual closed than what they're saying from this data company. And if mm -hmm. you look at just the overall median, the overall median closed at 565. So if you go to 565 and look at last month was 555, this should have actually been higher. So I'm curious where, how they're pulling their numbers. I mean, obviously they pulled out what I'm looking at is 89 uh, uh, properties that closed. And when I asked them um, before, they said, oh, we pull all the information straight from the MLS, from your MLS. So I'm curious of what those 89 that didn't make the actual closed volume, because if you look, Close volume was uh, it's January. Where are we go? Oh, no, that was the right one. I just was on the wrong stat. 711. So I think it, there's something's wrong here. Um, what it is, I don't know. But the overall problem we're still facing in the market, 0.3 month inventory. We're down in new listings 18%. I just had two listings hit the market. Both went well over list price and we priced them pretty aggressive in the beginning. Um, and I have one about to hit the market this week. Um, if you want to look at that one, boom, look at this guy. Oh, it's not even going to do it. I got to go back. Sorry. Anyway, so um, back to the fun stuff. Um, anyway, what are your thoughts on kind of the market being skewed by this stuff? I think one of the things that we haven't really accounted for or haven't seen uh, as a correlation is what happened when Zillow offers have all started to dry up, right? Like those are all starting to get bought up. Same mm -hmm. with open door offers starting to get bought up versus them sitting on the market. Because like I said, there are some that were sitting on the market for 40, 60 days and those are starting to close out. And so you have a lot less of those sorts of things that we know in a lot of cases were overpriced and are no longer part of the January numbers. So I think that's one one attribute, one variable in there. The second is uh, when they're like the dates they're pulling the numbers. I know it should be calendar date, first of the month, end of month, um, but we don't know if Texas A&M and 
Oh, yeah, because I, I pulled and the data that you pulled, if it's all exactly in sync. I mean, you would hope so. I would hope we so. Don't... But I, I pulled literally January 1 to January 31. And I pulled that data specifically. I even broke it down because I tried to look at the numbers between what new construction was selling for and resale was selling for because we saw that chart that showed yep. the difference. Yep. And the what was interesting, and I can pull it up if you want, but the the resale was identical no no i'm sorry the the new construction new price construction. was identical but the resale was off considerably so mm -hmm. i don't know if does that, that include to do aln that. info no aln is its own thing got it so if anybody doesn't know what aln is i'm part of aln it's the austin luxury network so it's all kind of off market properties is where elon musk finds his house <laughs> or you, we can find we can find you off market. If you're if, if you're an executive looking for a seven million dollar house, that's where you go. So we'll do that too. Anyway, Kevin, what are your thoughts on all of this debacle? Oh, nothing. Just me looking at statistics, thinking about the statistics. <laughs> I don't know. You know, five thousand dollars is point nine point point nine percent difference in price. So like, yeah, I think I think more important than the five thousand dollars was the increase in months of inventory. Decrease in or, a fractional increase, in but it also no. It was a decrease. We had a decrease in months of inventory. It was 0. 0.5 in December, 0. 0.3 in January. Change, sorry, yes, change yeah. in months of yes. inventory. But Got we, it. but there were ten percent fewer listings, right? Mm -hmm. Five percent, five percent fewer closed. Uh, oh, I'm looking at the MSA. Which one are you? Here you go. Okay, 18%. So it's 18 to 10%. So we're still at a net negative 8% from closed to from new listings to closed listings. And that doesn't look at the pending sales, I guess. The pending was new listing 784, pending 960. So specifically on, on the in and out, we're at a negative 20%. Right? Yeah. And well, if then that, if you... If that compounds... Also, what's interesting is seeing the number of days on market drop. Again, it's a small amount, but it's always good to pay attention to that. Yeah. I mean, here's the MSA. So the MSA December to January was pretty much unchanged. It was uh, 476,700 for December. So it was barely down, but still it was, it was a change. You'd expect it to increase with the amount of... Here's what I'm concerned about. And... I'm concerned about the data not being correct to begin with. That's one thing I'm very concerned about. But the second thing I'm concerned about is the fact that where you would expect if inventory is going down, prices would increase. And so to see it come down to me makes me look at the data even closer. And the fact that I, I found discrepancies in the data means that we, there should be somebody verifying the data that's coming out and i don't think yeah. there is it's just like here it is here's the numbers thanks for watching this short of the real amigos podcast for more live streams hit here for more clips hit here we'll catch you on the next one